This is a lecture video for F-Line, uh, corresponding with the first section of F-Line having to do with um, determining percent grade slope. Um, I just want to walk through in the beginning um, some of the concepts that are needed for the math problem, and then we'll get into a sample math problem and walk you through that. So we begin with uh, taking a quick look at um, the plans, types of plans you're likely to encounter uh, at the beginning of a build. Here we have a subdivision plan um, which lays out many of the different particulars on the plot of land that you're going to be building on. Uh, often it's from this where you get your allowances for um, building height. Uh, and that's where the percent grade factors into your build. Here's a survey certificate showing you the plot of land that you'll be building on. A couple things here. You see a street that's already been built. You have a setback for the building. That would be the distance from the street to the building. You have setbacks here along the property line as well, 1.7 meters. Uh, but for our purposes, we're going to be dealing with the setback from the, from the road in this case. Here we have it a little bit clearer on a plot plan. They also throw in the driveway, and this is where, again, it's important to have your grading um, sloped properly away from the building. Here's the little section on grading. They talk about two types of grading. The natural grade, which may be there before you've done any digging, um, and then the finished grade is what we're shooting for. So they talk about grade uh, interchangeably with the term slope. Uh, here they're saying, for example, 2% grade means that the earth drops or rises 2 meters vertically for every 100 meters traveled horizontally. Um, alternatively, this is sometimes called a 2% fall or rise. And then they mention benchmark, which we cover in D-line. Um, basically a known elevation from a fixed point. And these are all the different uh, um, terms we're going to use now for our math problem. So here we have a sample math problem. Um, Basically, two things we're trying to take away from these problems. Uh, we need to figure out, using the percent grade, we need to figure out the elevation at the top of the dirt that lies against the building after all is said and done. Um, we use the benchmark to determine that, and we'll go through some of the math. Um, from that information, we're going to use what we have, building dimensions and so on, to figure out what the elevation at the bottom of the hole is going to be. Okay, so we're going to roll through. Here's the answer sheet for this problem. So I've taken the drawing from the from the above, and uh, I've scaled it down so I could fit everything on this page here. Um, so here's the street. Here's the building. Uh, this would be an elevation view, maybe a section view of the concrete wall. And then here we have the footing. And what we're doing now, first first move, is we're going to take our um, percent grade, and we're going to figure out what the elevation is at the top of the dirt here. Okay, and the way we do that is we have our known elevation over here, um, and we're trying to use that to get to the bottom of the wall here. So first thing to recognize when doing these math problems is what we have here. Uh, this is be this would be a horizontal shot from our elevation benchmark of, in this case, 100. So if we were to have shot that directly to where the wall is going to be, that's what this line is representing, this uh, dashed line. Um, we know that that setback in this given situation is 8 meters. Okay, so that's a known. And what we have here is a triangle. Okay, so I've actually duplicated that into a triangle form. So what we need to know is the distance from your benchmark to the top of the dirt. The way we do that is we use this percent grade concept and put it into a ratio and proportion form. So here I've taken um, this triangle. So I've duplicated the same triangle that we have um, here. But when we talk about percent grade, what that's saying is for every um, 100 
and it could be anything 100 uh, meters millimeters inches um, it's just a unit and it's just in ratio form so for every 100 on the horizontal we're going to be rising seven on the vertical that's what percent means percent grade in this case okay so I've put that into triangle form here um, in the same orientation as this triangle which has our setback okay and um, we have reviewed ratio and proportion in this course before so this should be somewhat familiar to you so what I do here is I'll put them in fraction form now so I'll take the uh, vertical me measurement put them on the top so I have an X on one side which is what we're trying to find and a 7 on the other side okay um, we'll put the 8 meters on the bottom of the fraction here and corresponding to the 100 um, on the bottom of this triangle here. Now we just do our cross multiply and divide and we've just determined that this x value which is the vertical distance or the, here is 560 millimeters. I did the math in meters it was 5, 0.56 meters so I just converted it to millimeters. So this distance from benchmark to top of dirt is 560. Okay, that's our first bit of info. Now we can do, we have enough info now to figure out what the elevation of the bottom of the hole is going to be. So that's your first bit of math for these problems. So your second move is going to be figuring out the elevation now at the bottom of the hole. So we have our 100 here. It's our benchmark. That's the horizontal line. We're going to add X, which we just found out to be 560 mil or 0.56 meters. Okay, and we're going to add now what we're allowing to have for concrete above grade or what we're shooting for let's say so that's 200 millimeters or 0.2 meters okay once we've added those two we have our elevation now at the top of the wall and it's just a simple subtraction of the wall height and the footing thickness to get our elevation okay and that's what I'm notifying here we have two meters taking off of this value and then 300 mil or 0.3 meters and we get an elevation at the bottom of the footing of 98.46 meters okay and that's basically the gist of it so if you understand the ratio and proportioning figuring out how to transfer um, percent grade into um, into a number that we can work with then everything else should be fairly straightforward as far as the math goes so I hope this video helps you get through these problems and clears it up